Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at this red cash box that I'm using as a portable all steel box to carry around my FX4 CR HF QRP radio. Uh, this is called a cash box and the dimensions are 7.8 inches this way, 6.3 inches deep, and 3.6 inches high very small size that contains what I'm going to show you is in there it has a nice uh, carrying handle there's no latch so you have to lock it in order to keep it closed and here is a really nice key it comes with two keys so we're going to open that in a minute um, very rugged very well made steel box what's pretty amazing about it is there's no latches showing and the lid overhangs the um, the lip that's on here so it's actually recessed in here so it gives it a pretty good seal then there we have the label on the back for more information uh, these can be had from all different places including uh, Walmart and they only go for like 13 bucks so just a great deal uh, just a great deal on these all right so let's take a look inside and see what I did here all right and there it is so my idea was to put in a box everything I needed to get on the air. Uh, this way, if I have this box set aside, I grab it and, and I'm gonna be able to get on the air. But with the 20 watts, single sideband, and CW, uh, it also has FM and AM as well, that's 10 watts. And you have a lithium battery or something portable like I have here, and you're gonna be able to, to get on the air. What you have here is the transceiver itself. We'll talk about that in a minute. And I have other videos on this radio um, that I'm gonna post after this one. You'll be able to learn a lot more about the radio. This is sort of a prototype box, so um, in actual use, I'll be getting a uh, foam that I could put in, inside the entire box, and then I can cut out the places, and it'll look a lot better, uh, you know, for the battery, and then the microphone, and then the radio. And this would be a little bit thinner, and there'd be a lot more room to put this inside. So that's the next step, is uh, sourcing that uh, foam. So I have some uh, 25 feet of coax here. 316 low loss, you know, low loss for a thin cable. You're still going to have a lossy compared to thicker cables, but it's very portable and very light. So now we have a way to get to the antenna from the transceiver, a good 25 feet, get it up in the air. We also have in here a BioNO 4.5 amp hour battery, and that's going to give you many hours of uh, operation uh, with this radio. Also in here is the external microphone, and I say external microphone because this radio actually has a little opening right here where there is a, a microphone built in, and there's a speaker built in as well, so we don't need a speaker. So, so we have uh, in here the, uh, the hand mic. Here is the power cable, and this has Anderson's on it. And this has the Andersons, so all I do is take the radio out, plug in the power supply, the fused uh, power supply, I mean power cable, and here is actually the power supply of the battery, and it plugs right in. These uh, BioNO batteries has Andersons built in, so I just plug that into here, plug this in the radio, plug in the microphone. All I need now is an antenna, and that's what's inside here. So this is double bubble wrap, and it stays up in the lid. And by the way, this stays in the lid because, of I, because I have a neobidium uh, magnet. Uh, right there uh, and I have a bunch of these and the, that's the beauty of the metal box you can stick things up in the recess because there's a lot of room up in here all the way around the periphery here that will take this uh, antenna out and you can see there's the cover so you got a lot of room in here to put items in all right so here is the uh, the parts of why I mean the power cable that's like three feet long all right so we're gonna put the put the magnet anywhere in and it actually stays in the lid when you close it uh, very strong and now inside this pouch here so this protects the top of the radio and you close the lid as well as holding the antenna and here we have a pack antenna this is like 29 feet long and it has a 9 to 1 ballot in here and then this here you can you know put it up in a tree and uh, do whatever configuration you, you want to do with this. This usually requires a tuner, um, but on the different bands, you can find frequencies that you're going to keep the, the SWR uh, really low. Uh, but for those who don't want to use a tuner, and it's going to be all self-contained, another idea that you can do instead of the pack antenna, or if you don't want to buy a pack antenna or another small antenna like that already built, you can get something like this. This is a power um, adapter, but these come in B and C, 
So you hook this to your your coax here, and you can hang it in a tray, hang it at some high point on a pole or something, or whatever makeshift thing you would find, post-apocalyptic or whenever you're gonna be using it, or all the time, you could use this box and just take it and operate it all the time. But if you get something like this with BNC here, and, and hang it up, and then you could put lengths of wire, and you could tune it and have a resident antenna. So I, I highly recommend something like this, very cheap. Something like this, lamp cord or whatever, you know, you get maybe 16 feet on the side, and now you've got a 20 meter dipole, and you can tune it exactly to the frequencies that you want to use, the voice frequency if you're using a single sideband. And something like that will easily fit in here if that pack antenna fit, will fit in here. And that's all you need to get on the air in this cool little box. And uh, oh, I was going to talk about the radio for a minute. And uh, let's see, let's take it out. This uh, this is an amazing radio. It's only like four and a half inches long and, and a couple inches deep. It is built like a tank, made in China uh, by BG2FX. And this is a 20 watt radio, which is absolutely amazing. It has the speaker here. Buttons have multiple functions. It has a, it's an SDR radio with a beautiful waterfall display. No, simple, simple uh, just a fantastic uh, radio and that's 80 meters to 10 meters um, no built-in tuner or sound card uh, but it has Bluetooth and other uh, it's really an advanced radio. It's an amazing radio for its size. It's it's quite unbelievable that it's uh, it's 20 watts. All right, all right. So that's it for my this little short video on this red box. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time here on Ham Radio Comms. Take care.